Ah, the hills are alive with the sweet sound of petrol. Hello from the mini countryman, which I'm in the English countryside testing out today. And uh, I'm trying to reverse it out of a fairly narrow junction. Can you believe it's almost a quarter of a century since the BMW Mini became a thing? Here we are with the next generation of the car. And I'm gonna start with a shortcut tip for you. If you've got a BMW or a Mini, and you hold down the set button on your steering wheel, it will turn off the speed warning. This version of the Mini is quite a bit removed from the idea of the first generation BMW Mini. For example, it's a lot bigger. Now the boot is a little over 400 litres, which is okay, but if you're at a stage of your life where you still require buggies, and certainly if there's more than one child in the family, I don't think you're quite ready for your dream car. What do I mean by that? Well, I know a lot of ladies of a certain age who, you know, maybe the kids don't need the buggies anymore. And this Mini could be the car that you've just always wanted. And it's, it's in your grasp. Well, it's definitely usable as a family vehicle. When you look at the back seat area, it is definitely something that, if your kid's a little bit older, you can now use as your family car. But just be very mindful, this is a much larger car than a Mini Cooper, a two-door version of the car, which is still fairly true to the original essence of the BMW Mini, anyway, not the Mini Mini. Minis generally handle like go-karts. The Countryman is not really in the same league as that. It sits much higher up. Uh, it's more of a Mini crossover slash SUV, although people just apply SUV to absolutely everything these days, whether it's an SUV or not. And there, that is the trade-off, I suppose, of, of having all the extra space in the back, a lot of cool things in the front for storage. I love this little, it's almost like a lunchbox that you just pull up and instead of the armrest opening, it, it does slide back and forward, but that's where you now store stuff. The center bezel is still a prominent feature in the car, but it has changed quite a bit. You might remember all generations of the previous minis there was kind of a, a silver chrome trim around it and it kind of just sat in to the dashboard it now sits kind of away in a sort of tablet style uh, you have a head-up display in, in this car there's different packs that would allow you to tailor make how your mini is there's even a pack that gives you extra storage for the fuel tank if you want When I first saw this car back in Munich in September of 2023, I, I wasn't sure on the interior. I think, you know, the last few Minis have really nailed it, good quality materials. And it's not that it doesn't feel uh, like it's still connected to BMW, but what I will say is there's a lot of fabrics, textures, and the traditional, I suppose, it, it, it has changed. That bit is cool, you know, it's trying to be different. Um, that harsh plastic has been replaced by harsh kind of the texture that you'd uh, uh, expect a speaker to to have on the outside. And there's little gold accents that you know are, are nice and they're part of the the trim inside the car for the handles. The steering wheel feels very good. It very you definitely know that's connected to BMW because it's really huge. I think some people with smaller hands might actually struggle to get their hands around the steering wheel. Engine-wise, in this petrol version, so again, there is an electric version coming. We'll get to drive that in due course. This is a 1.5 three-cylinder engine, which for a lot of the time is very quiet and it doesn't really let you know it's a three-cylinder, but when you want to accelerate, that isn't always the case and things get a little bit louder. It's all about fuel efficiency and emissions and the trade-off to get that is a lot of traditional brands that would have had bigger engines 
are using three cylinders. There's a John Cooper Works version of this car as well. It looks really cool in black and red. This white color, it's quite a it's quite a large blob of white. There are better colors available, but this was this was the key I randomly chose in press car roulette this morning. It will do about six and a half liters per 100 kilometers. That is one of the other bonuses of, of this efficient engine. And it has 168 brake horsepower, which is okay. It's, it's enough, but it's, it never feels quick. Again, this is a family car now. I think comfort and bits like that are more important. I do feel some of the character though, of the, like the switches are okay. They're still quirky. The, engine start stop looks like a little key and the gear shifter is okay but I, I just think some of the personality some of the character of what we've come to know in the mini is gone that's not to say that that means they should have kept doing the same thing over and over I do get that but it just feels a little dumbed down in the interior for the the quirkiness I suppose of the car if that makes sense great great improvements in interior space boot will perhaps still be a little compromised it's again it depends what age your kids are at maybe you don't have kids maybe you just want a countryman don't get me wrong it'll do the job for you beautifully but for those of us with kids with the scooters if you're in that part of your life it will do the job fine if you're trying to throw in the dog beside the scooters or there's a a bike involved that's where things might become a little more complicated and if you have these beautiful white seats you're not want to, gonna want their monkey paws dog or kids all over them the way this engine is set up it's a mild hybrid system you don't charge anything in and it assists a little bit in pulling away from lights stop starts things like that makes the car transition a little bit smoother but it doesn't have an electric range or anything like that. And actually the timing of this car couldn't have been more perfect because so many people are a little bit disillusioned with electric. They're reading so many conflicting stories, some true, some absolute rubbish. I heard somebody recently saying that uh, a phone charges off the main battery in a car when it charges off the usual 12 volt battery that cars have always had so just be careful where your sources are coming from but the idea of just a petrol countryman maybe the timing of it is just perfect does this car capture all the fun qualities of of driving the normal mini uh, no not not it's not fully lost this is more about a premium product than a fun product so to speak it's practical it's got space uh, it's got a higher up sitting position if you want the you know and they genuinely do still give you thrills even in the very modern edition of of the car then i think you're going to want to go for a mini cooper um, if driving dynamics are more important to you if you're looking for a family car this is as good as any countryman perhaps even better than previous ones because they've given even more thought to interior space let me know what you think of the car in the comments down below. This is a, a quick enough review in the UK of the car. I will have it for a longer set of time. Back at home in Ireland, we'll get a better feel for the car from living with it for a week. But uh, for now, thank you very much for coming with me this far on the review. If you've enjoyed it, you might consider subscribing to the channel, like it, share it with someone who might be interested in this new version of the Mini Countryman. And thank you very much for watching.